mom, dad, it's me, Thomas. Um, where do I start? Uh, this is supposed to be a small get together. I wanted to be cool for one night. You know, I wanted girls to notice me. Then things got a little out of control. Tonight's about the girls we never had a shot at. Tonight's about changing the game. So, hey guys, this is Michael from collegemoviereview.com, and I'm here with the cast of Project X, Thomas Mann, Oliver Cooper, and Jonathan Daniel Brown. Hey, how's it going? Thanks for having us. Can you tell me about your experience on set? I mean, I've never seen a movie like this or even been to a party, so how cool was it? Uh, it was awesome. I mean, it was like, you, the thing is, you can't fake fun. Um, and we had a, we had a DJ on set, and uh, so we, that kept the energy up, and we had all these extras. Well, it was really cool is that the extras, the party itself is, is the monster of the movie. If it, you know, is the disaster, it's the twister of the monster. So what's cool is to make that feel as real as possible, Nima actually personally cast all 300 of the extras, extras that we used on set to create as much of a realistic party feeling as possible and to see how things could go out of hand with, you know, actual kids gone wild. So in the beginning of the movie, we see Pasta trying to get the word out about the party. Kind of, what do you think this movie says about the power of social networking? I think I think that's one of the uh, I think that's one of the coolest things about this movie that you know I, I didn't necessarily notice when we were shooting it, but afterwards, uh, it, it shows how uh, social media is really so relevant with not only kids today but everybody today, and how crazy out of control something you can get and how big something you can get just with Twitter, Facebook. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's really insane. I mean, now, like, information spreads so fast, so you, it's, it's almost believable that something could, you know, like, this could, get, you know, so spontaneously happen, in, you know, overnight. Yeah. So, um, what's the closest party you guys have experienced to Project X? Um, Ooh. Not, I mean, like, like how close? Because, like, maybe one, 100. Yeah, about yeah. Any yeah I mean, it was party uh, that thing, Yeah, parties I remember were, were pretty lame compared to Project X. Yeah. It would set the bar a little too high. One girl yeah. gets naked, maybe. Yeah, maybe one, one girl gets half naked. Yeah. <laughs> Just one boob. <laughs> this movie got, I don't know. 30, 38 boobs. Someone counted, I think. That's an even number. So, yeah, probably. The guys that the party threw was obviously insane. Is there anything you guys did that didn't make it in the movie that we might see, like, on the unrated DVD or something? Sure, sure. Well, well, there was there was one really, really way too intense scene that was actually cut from the movie, where a drunk kid is passed out or puking in the toilet while three people just decide to take the leak on him. Literally, three people like pissing on his head. Yeah. It's just too gruesome. Yeah, I, I thought it was funny. funny. I don't know. Yeah, it's really funny, but it's like there's it's gross. Yeah. Yeah. So. What would you say to guys that are like Thomas, JB, and Costa, who are not as popular and, you know, want to get that spotlight? What advice would you give them? Uh, don't do what we did. To get yeah. That. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> write a novel. I don't know what advice I would Figure give. Figure it out. <laughs> Popularity is overrated. Yeah. Pop- high school is not Pop- the Pop- end. And yeah. all. Yeah. All. I, yeah. I, I It'll get better, I promise. It's true. Yeah, it gets better. Yeah. I mean, if you're, better you're not, honestly, if you're not popular in high school, you're probably going to be the one. It just means that you haven't popular. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah for Later sure. on down the road, anyway. If you peak when you're 17, well, shit. Yeah, that's not. That's usually pretty bad. It's always those kids that are getting late at fun in high school that like, you see them five years down the road and they're like missing it too. So. I read that the audition process was really long for you guys. Well, it was a little different for all three of us. Once we got to the main portion of the audition, it was about a two-month process over the course of eight or nine auditions. And that was a grueling, grueling, you know, you'd hear nothing for a few weeks, then you'd hear, then you'd have five auditions in like two days. It, it, it was really just, they wanted to get the chemistry and the people perfect to, to really match what Nemo was looking for. And it took, it was just a, it was a giant cast hunt where they saw like 4,000 people. <laughs> Thomas? Dad, hey. Well, we just wanted to call one last time. Make sure you were sick for the night. Yep, all good.